Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. I'm going to take a quick look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar from a technical perspective. It's uh, moving toward the end of the week, the start of the new trading week. So this uh, will be a little bit more uh, broad-based, I guess, and uh, focused on what uh, may be ahead for this uh, currency pair and what, we've just, what just happened the last week. So let's get started. All right, let's uh, put things in, into perspective in trading this week. Uh, we did uh, see the Aussie versus US dollar move lower after the CPI data. Then we saw it move higher uh, after basing uh, down here from a technical perspective. I'll talk to that in a second, but uh, retail sales helped to push the price higher. And today we're seeing uh, a little bit of a uh, ups and ups and downs. Well, we are seeing ups and downs uh, in this uh, pair with uh, some defined uh, levels on the downside and some defined levels on the upside from a technical perspective. Now let's uh, talk a little bit more about those technicals. And I mentioned that the price did move lower uh, off of the uh, CPI data earlier this week. And that came down to test this uh, key swing area through here. Uh, you can see the number of different times the market actually uh, uh, peaked at this level right through here uh, and uh, moved uh, lower. We did move above it in between right through here. But then once we fell below that level, we came right back to the area and moved to the downside. When we moved uh, back to the upside here, uh, the, we saw the momentum to the upside and a rotation back down to that yellow area right through here before moving to the upside through here. So that all made sense back there and, and it helped define uh, this area as the uh, a support target in trading this week. And what do we do? We came down uh, to that area and, and uh, we, although we moved a little bit below it by about four pips, the price uh, ultimately uh, then started to rotate back to the upside and that gave us a uh, momentum into the retail sales and saw the further momentum through the retail sales uh, and uh, the uh, move uh, to new highs and trading here today. Day uh, four, no, it wasn't new highs for the week, but uh, we, we got uh, near the high uh, for, the, for the week. But uh, more importantly, what we uh, ran into was uh, these two moving averages right through here. This, uh, the, the, this blue line rep we're on the four hour chart represents the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart. And this step blue line represents the 100 day moving average. And as you can see, they're both right on each other. Uh, they currently come in at 0 0.6535. One's moving lower, one's moving higher. So uh, they may cross in trading next week or they will, will cross in trading next week. But what we know going into next week, actually and into this afternoon, is that if the price were to move back above those two 100 bar moving averages, that would be more bullish uh, for the, the pair from a technical perspective. Now, there's also this other swing area here where we found resistance uh, in trading this week uh, between the 0 0.6541 to 0 0.6550. But safe to say that we get above the two moving averages, we're going to start to say that stay above those moving averages keeps the bias more in, in uh, control of the, of the buyers. And, we, and these become targets up here. And then we have the 200-day uh, moving average up here. Uh, as our next targets followed by the 200 bar moving average in the four hour chart up here. So those are the targets on the top side if we're able to get above the two 100 bar moving averages as outlined. So uh, that's uh, step one, something that we learned this week. Also in play uh, and uh, uh, it, just below the 100 day moving averages, it's a swing area through here where we had a swing high right here. And then we had uh, swing lows through here, 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 and here. Got messy through here, but we did find resistant sellers here. Uh, so if we were to uh, move back below that level and see further momentum, uh, what we would then look for is a break below the 61.8% retracement. And that's a level that hasn't or was briefly broken in trading here today. During, again, this is a four-hour chart, uh, but uh, not by much. Uh, so the 0 0.65 level is a key level on the downside uh, it, it, today and going forward uh, into next week's trading, get below the 65 level. I think it opens the door for further downside potential for this uh, currency pair from that technical perspective. Then we start to look for toward the low from last week, which came in at 0 0.64687. And then we look toward that swing area, which was a low for this week, which where we, where we dipped about four pips below that level. So uh, that's my view of the Aussie versus US dollar. It's a complete view that you can use uh, in uh, trading to not only today, but going forward into the new trading week. I hope you enjoyed it. Get something from it. Uh, we'll see uh, if the uh, price can get above those two 100 bar moving averages or find willing sellers against those levels. That's going to be the first key barometer for you as a trader in this currency pair. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.